Hello, my science friends. I will show you how to draw the estrogen signaling pathway. I've been very busy teaching for the past few weeks. Finally, I get to upload a new tutorial for you. I'm making tutorials to show scientists how to draw the signaling pathways. You can find the full list on my website, dropomed.com. These videos will never go viral on YouTube. You can help me by giving me likes, subscribe, or use the thanks button to support the project. You are not only helping my channel, you're also helping scientists around the world to make figures for their research publications. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Before creating a pathway, we need to create a cell. So I'll come up here to grab the ellipse tool and click and drag to create a cell. I will increase the stroke size and I will hold shift and click on the color to fill the stroke color to change the stroke color okay I'll click and drag to create a radio gradient please share my tutorials to your colleagues or someone who will need to draw these things these videos will no, never go viral they're a niche i'll fill in the color here and then change this center color to white we have actual gene receptor inside of this cell so let me grab the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle uh, this is what you will see by default let me switch it to uh, edit path by nodes tool and you can round the corner of the rectangle by click and drag this node. I'm gonna change the thickness to 0 0.5 and I will also apply the radio gradient into this rectangle. Let me use orange and the center color is also white. And we need to create an estrogen binding site. Binding site. So first, let's create an estrogen. Let's simply make a circle and apply a radial gradient. And I'll put this magenta color into the gradient. And I'll label this as ER. In my example, they label it as ER, which means estrogen receptor. And we need to create a receptor binding site. So I will make a copy of the estrogen, put it on top of the round corner rectangle, uh, center, align it with the alignment tool. Come up here to click on difference. Then we can crop a binding site. I need to make a nucleus. Let me copy this, copy the ellipse. Let me go to stroke style, click on dashes and change the cap type to round cap. And I think all the membranes are too thick. Let me make them thinner, maybe four points wide. That go by obviously, oh. But do the ghosts also move over there after they perish, after the body perish? One thing that's really cool about estrogen is that this hormone is hydrophobic. So it can pass through the cell membrane without a receptor. Of course, there are also membrane receptors for estrogen, but I'm doing I'm uh, only illustrating this part because it is the hormone's special feature. Okay. Then they dimerize. I'll grab a Bezier tool and draw a line like this. Oh, you don't see anything now because there's no stroke color. I hold shift and click on black and you'll be able to make the line. Okay, and then dash line, uh, we don't need a dash line here. Width, let's change it to 0 0.5. And uh, arrow type, we can use this. Or this one, I think 
most of the time is this one. I think I'll create the DNA. So we need to turn the grid on, page grid. Okay, and with the snapping function on, go grab the draw Bezier tool, create a parallelogram. Okay, and then switch to edit path by nodes tool, select these two. It will not make selected nodes auto smooth. Make all of them smooth. And we need to break this node. So uh, make selected nodes corner. Then we can tuck this one back. Put it here, put it there. Okay, and then this one. So need to make a corner out of it, tuck it back like this. Okay. And then uh, the color, let's use a light blue. And I'll remove the fill. There's something that's gone wrong. Oh yeah, here. Okay, let me make a copy of this, reflect it. Have a darker blue in there, connect it on top. Group them, put one over here, and this will be the base of the double helix, All right? Then we can elongate them like this, group it. Them here. Okay, now I can turn the page grid off and turn the snapping function off. Scale it down. Put it here. Gene expression. There you go. This is how you draw the astrogene signaling pathway. I hope this video has helped you to make the figures. Please share the videos with your colleagues who need these type of illustrations. I'll see you in the next video.